for GoPro, it is 65 to 70. That's the channel that it's been in all week here. So you need earnings to get it out of that channel in order to get some good volatility. Just kind of watching for the reaction. If it's up near 70, can it push through 70s? If it can push above 70, I'm looking for some momentum higher towards 75. But if you're unable to push above 70, I'd be looking for a test on 65, where then if you break down at 65, GoPro can really start flushing down towards 60, maybe even get into the 50s. So that's kind of the setup here that I'm watching for. Just waiting on the numbers. Last earnings report, GoPro tanked. It was its first earnings report ever. And the stock had closed the day at 48, but ended up going down all the way into the 40 to $42 range. Doesn't look like we have the number just yet. This is just so far the usual after hours activity. We'll know when the number's out because you'll see level two start moving super fast and this time in sales will speed up. You'll get a blitz of orders going through all of a sudden. I don't pay attention to the number. I don't have a news feed up or anything. I don't look for a beat or a miss. All I care about is the stock's reaction. The stock's reaction tells you all you need to know. Earnings are really just about expectations. It's not about numbers. You could have a massive beat on the numbers, but if the stock goes down, that tells you expectations were even higher than the numbers reported. You could have a huge miss on the numbers, but if the stock goes up, that tells you expectations were too low. So it's just all about the reaction of the stock. Hopefully we don't have to wait more than another 60 seconds or so here from GoPro. Alright, we've got something here. You're getting 69s, testing 70 here, so it looks like something's out. Getting above 70. So if you can hold 70, GoPro looks good for upside. Bidder's at 71, 72 bid, so it does look like that upside trade. The key is holding 70, though. You whacked out those bids above 70. Let's see if they come back. You've got an ask below 70 now. Let's see who takes control here. Do we get back above 70 on the bid, or do we start coming down printing 68s? There's one bid at 70, another one, some stacking going on at 70 here. Alright, you whacked out 70 bids again. The bidder came back. It's trying to figure itself out. Getting some stacking at 70. She might start selling off here. 68s. Still just kind of flirting with 70, though. Let's see if you get these asks to come into the 68s and stay there. Hasn't really made up its mind relative to 70. Remember, 65 to 70, that's the channel we need to get out of. We have not yet gotten out of that channel. If you do not get above 70 here, I would look for a back test down towards 65. And here comes the back test. It looks like 67s. Really not much of a reaction. You haven't had a ton of speed. You haven't gone one way or the other. You are completely flat here after hours. Obviously, just one to two minutes in, but still, usually you get something. Let's see if she comes back above 70 here. Some decent bids at 69. Some bidders back above 70. 
Let's see if they can hold. They've been getting whacked out. If they can hold, he can start moving. All right, 71 stack. There you go. This looks like clean movement now to the upside. Let's see if it avoids coming back down to 70 now. We saw this right out of the gate at 172s, but then came back down. So if you can avoid now coming back down, then it looks like solid upside towards 75. Getting some 73 bids. She's starting to run a little bit here. 7350 bids. Can you go 74s? Get 74 bids. Challenge that 75. Printing 74s. Hasn't broken above it yet though. Good bid stacking. 7380s. There's that 74 bid. But then you whacked them out. So far, though, you know, it has been more to the upside. And looks like she is going to hold 70, so that's going to set up upside tomorrow on GoPro. A lot of time for things to shake out. So I'm going to just sit here and observe for the next 5 to 10 minutes, see where we end up going. Are we able to stay above 70 solidly, or do we end up coming back below it? as in right now it's coming back down towards 72's. You want to see it start holding 72, 71's, not even dealing with that 70 if she is going to have clean upside. So we'll see where it's at a few minutes from now. You've pulled back, you're testing 70 bucks. As far as an easier trade goes, you want to hold 70 because that was the primary move it made. So if you can hold 70 then it keeps looking for upside, but if you were to break back below 70 here, that would kind of muddy the waters a little bit, and you'd be falling back into that 65 to 70 channel, where to get really good downside, you need to then come back below 65. So overall on GoPro, the setup to me is simple. If you hold 70 bucks, I expect this thing to go higher between now and you know the rest of this after hour session but also come tomorrow morning looks like if this holds we'll be gapping up five six percent possibly so tomorrow morning my setup is going to be you know depending on how close it is to 70 above 70 I'm looking for an upside move towards 75 below 70 I'd be looking for a channel move back down towards 65 if between now and you know, the next 30, 45 minutes, hour, whatever you want it to be, there is going to be a conference call, so sometimes those can change things And as far as what the price ends up doing. If between now and then GoPro does fall back below 70, it becomes a net short again and looks for that leg back down. But in terms of momentum lower, you can't get really good momentum lower until you break below 65 on GoPro. So keep an eye on this $70 area, and we'll see what it's looking like tomorrow morning.